I am now going to show you how to install the Android SDK and set up an Android emulator. First, go to developer.android.com. Then you'll have to download the SDK by clicking on the SDK tab and downloading what we're today going to be installing on is Mac OS X. So in the file you just downloaded, you'll go to the Tools tab. You'll click on the Android and click Open. This is the Android SDK Manager. Today we're going to be using Android 4.0, so you check right there. And you want the SDK platform tools. So you're going to want to click yes when you want to restart ADB. And click close. Okay, so now you've downloaded everything. You want to go to tools and manage ABDs. We're going to create the click new. I'm going to give the name, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to do it screencast. You're going to put the target as either Android 4.0 or Google APIs. I'll do it as Android 4.0 or whatever version you have downloaded. I'm going to set the SD card size to 100. You can set this to what you want, but larger sizes may affect boot time. So then click Create AVD. Okay, now you select it and click start and launch. You can choose whether or not you want to send usage statistics to Google. Now this is going to take a while. Um, it's especially the first time it may improve the second or third time you boot it. If you get this, click wait. And you now have a fully functioning emulator. Now we're going to install an application to the emulator and we're going to take a screenshot of it. First, make sure that you have taken the application that you want to install and place it in your platform tools folder. Also make sure that you have your emulator already running as it's going to have to be running to install the application. Now, let us open up a terminal window and go to the root directory of our SDK. We'll do this by running the command cd and then the file path to your SDK folder. Now, we're going to go into the systems tool or platform tools folder by going cd platform tools and then we're going to go dot slash adb install and then the file name of the apk you want to install for me it is file manager dash 1.1.6.apk So now if we go to our emulator and we go to the file drawer or the app drawer we'll see that OI file manager has been installed. Now if we accept 
the EULA and get there. We now have a fully working application. Now to take a screenshot of this application, you could do this a variety of ways, including using native clients to your platform. But the way we're going to do it today is, is using the debug manager. We're going to do this by going cd dot dot slash and go cd tools. Now we're going to go dot slash ddms. So we have our debug monitor. We're going to select the emulator. Mine is called Screencast. And we're going to go Device Screen Capture. And now you can refresh it and it'll take, this is basically like taking a picture. So if we were good to go back to our emulator and go back and refresh, it will reflect the changes on the screen. At this point you could save the picture and you have successfully taken a screenshot.